All right. Okay. THQ. Quality. What does THQ stand for? Do you know? Theater of highest quality. Right? That, <laughs> that, it would make sense. Yeah, I'm, that's... That's Sume. That stands for naturally all... Okay, I, I don't know how to spell That's it anymore. All... <laughs> We're done with that. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. So what What are we doing here? We are playing a very poor port. A poor port. Poor port? Poor port. So this is what, Croc 2 on the, the old Game Boy Color? It's purported that it's Croc 2 on the old Game Boy Color. This looks worse than Croc 1. It is worse than Croc 1. It has a story now... Croc is confused. It said the letter's by his mom. Yep. The gobble repeated, that's by your mom, yep. and Croc still did not get it. Well, Croc's... Well, I think I think it's been fully established that Croc is, is a blumbering Literally. idiot. Well, yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> These oh. graphics are terrible. To be fair, this doesn't control like Croc 1. You move in all four directions. All four. Uh, whoa. Four, four degrees of freedom. Yeah. You, you move in the... X and Z axis, I guess? I don't uh, know. I would say X and Y. Well, I Z mean... Is down, isn't it? Yeah, but you... Well, that's true. Oh, uh, see, there I am moving in the Y axis yeah. again. Hey, guess what? This is Jazz what? Hands. What's hey, on, guys? hey, Jazz Hands. It doesn't matter who I am. We know who you are. They know who I am. The famous our, common coder. Our, our, our very rabid fan base of... Yeah. What, thousands, uh, millions of people by now? Every human on Earth... Mm -hmm. When you are born, you are forced to watch a common coder let's this, play Croc this, episode. This is the dystopian future that we live in. <laughs> yeah. This is the nightmare of children. <laughs> this is my nightmare. <laughs> it, it just doesn't look like... And he looks stupid. Like, he looks stupid than normal. <laughs> it, he definitely does. But I gotta say, the game is actually better. Um, it's more, it it's does. More it, it works just like the PS1 version. I know you haven't watched the videos. No, That's right, okay. It's, it's, you have goals to complete in every single level. I have a life, comic coder. Oh. And uh, there's only so much croc I can fit into that life. It's 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 okay. <laughs> I told you it's okay, but you had to defend yourself anyway. I well, you know, I, I I'm naturally have to defend myself from all, all all accusations of disloyalty. I don't understand. You know, someday when you're my age and you're looking on the twilight of your years, you'll understand. Oh, it's it's so funny that you think you're such an old man. <laughs> you know, you know, Jazz Hands, yeah. eighty really isn't that old. Yeah. It's the new, it's the new seventy, right? You you could make it to one hundred and two. I could. What you know, even one hundred and three, but not one hundred and four. That's no, that's no, where that's we draw the line. That is ridiculous. While as you are the the generation of people who are who will live until they're two hundred and fifty, because you're gonna get all that new tech. You're gonna, you're gonna be full of artificial organs. Did you grow up with the internet? Uh, well, I grew, see. I grew up with uh, dial-up. Okay, so that makes us part of the same generation. Sort of. Basically. Who knows? I don't even know. Gener like they they have all these generations, but they don't really correspond with anything. Okay. Just to clarify, yeah. you have you have a decade on me. That's it. Yeah. Well, decades a long time. Yeah, a millennium's even longer. I've lived a very unsatisfying life in that decade okay thank you very much okay all right well after the after this video you got to tell me what you did so i know what not to do yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah I'll... and now in that way when, when i'm 29 and you're and you're 39 yeah i can shove it in your face yeah you can shove it straight down my throat yeah, yeah. i learn from your mistakes it's, basically yeah that's that's what i'm here for not, if... unfortunately yeah un unfortunately you have never played croc nope so I could not have, I could not learn no. from your mistake of playing this game. Yeah, he, 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 this is all, this is the mistake that you've made. You've dedicated yourself to making this long-term mistake. If you are nine years old, let me tell you now, within the next decade, yeah. do not play this no, game. He does like a flip. He rolls. He also rolls in the PS1 version. Mm -hmm. I keep wanting to say PS2. PS1 2. PS1 2. PS12. Yeah, PS12. We're recording this in the year 2050, by the way. Yeah. 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 That, that that doesn't even add up with the PS12, but yeah, whatever. It's the dystopian future of, of the PlayStation. No, there was like that. You remember that time in 2030 when they made like 10 PlayStations in a row? Weird. Was that around the time where they got rid of the numbers 5 through 11? Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. really weird. But then, but then they came out with a bunch of them. They were all PlayStation 8. 
Yeah. But, but there was like 12 variances of it. Yeah, 12 SKUs. Sony, what are you doing? I know you're the corporate overlords of Japan now, but chill out. You know what I'm saying? What happened to Nintendo? Oh, Nintendo's, uh, they, they were um, banished to Okinawa. Okay. You know, I, I feel like I should know this, also being part of the same year, but yeah. I don't pay attention to um, the Daily Show starring Cyborg John Stewart. Yeah, Cyborg John Stewart. Yeah, it, it's, it really went downhill since uh, Cyborg John Stewart killed the real John Stewart. <laughs> Man, the cyber future. It's not as good as people. You know what? People are all like, yeah, I can't wait for cyberpunk. I can't wait for, you know, this, this, and that. It's not that great, guys. What you're telling me is that, first of all, John Stewart was killed by a Terminator. Yeah, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. Second of all, Cyberpunk? Yeah, Cyberpunk. You know, Shadowrun. What, can, can you please explain to me what a Cyberpunk is? Alright. It's a guy who wears fingerless gloves, put, has a, uh, <laughs> has a large cell phone on his, on his belt. Uh, he wears black jeans and a black uh -huh. trench coat. That's a Cyberpunk. So you're not telling me a cyberpunk is a punk that happens to be on the internet? N uh, no. He's he's a nerd who thinks he's cool and also is on the internet. Yeah. Fedoras, by the way, they were all burnt out in, in the Great War of 2020. Yeah, but if you have one now, it's kind of like a collector's item. No, they were all burnt out. There oh, is none. I heard. Well, I heard. What's, I heard. What's, that because the, of all... Okay, well, yeah, hold on here. yeah, yeah. I have to clarify that because of all the new technology, if you even so much as draw a fedora, it'll spontaneously combust. Yeah, well, it's the Thought Police. They're, they're out there. Yeah. By the way, the Thought Police are all Reddit moderators now. It's weird. Yes. So the world's... Hey, guys. 2050. The world's really weird. I'm having a hard time following along with this improv that we're doing. <laughs> Is this improv? <laughs> Is this improv? Oh, the greatest joke of all time. Amateur hour. Amateur hour, yeah. So, you spin well, tornadoes, you kill guys, it's... Yeah, we're not talking about this game, period. Oh, yeah, no, it's... I missed, we, we missed me fast-forwarding a puzzle that I had to keep going back to really check. like a boring puzzle. Yeah, there was a hint in the beginning of the level, and I forgot, I kept forgetting what it said. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, so I had to go back twice. And now you went back to this little island, oh, now you found it. The At the time, I'm currently collecting all the colored gems to get the 100% mark for this level, oh, okay. but it turns out... That one of the special items you need to get the last colored gem, mm -hmm. you don't unlock it until you beat a level in World 2. So that's massive backtracking. Hey, but backtracking's fun, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Metroid, guys. Metroid, backtracking. Cr Crocovania. Yeah, it's m Metro Croc. Or Crocoid. Crocoid. Crocoidvania. Crocoid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, what. what Besides Croc, what games have you been into these days? I have recently purchased myself a PlayStation 4. Ooh, look at you, Mr. Fancy. Instant regret. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> However, I bought Infamous recently, yep. Infamous Second Son. That game is hella good. Is it? It's very good. I think I played the first Infamous a little bit. I never had a PlayStation, though. So. Know where I would have played it. You mean you missed out on such gems like Croc, The Legend of the Gobos, and Croc 2? Colon no subtitle. <laughs> colon no subtitle. <laughs> it's just Croc 2 colon. Yeah. They couldn't think of a subtitle. In there. They actually spelled out colon too. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I think it was a bad design decision. Yeah. Well, it's a design decision. <laughs> they designed the letters colon. Yeah. Oh, you missed that jump. That was pathetic. It's okay. I can go back. <laughs> Gabo, go back. There's, there is... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Gabo, go back. Yeah, Gabo, go back. Gabo, um, go Gabo. back. Gabo, we have to clarify, it's Gabo. Yeah, we're, uh, we don't want to infringe any trade rights. Or, trade rights. Uh, trade rights. Copyrights and <laughs> trade marks. Aha, nailed it. Uh, of the of the Run Button TM podcast, TM. TM. Re registered. Registered. Uh, um, d uh, copyright them, do not steal. Do, yeah, it says do not steal on it, so we don't. Ha yeah. can't steal. It just says it. Yeah, so. yeah you can't. That's another rule in 2020. Yeah. Whatever, whatever year We're it is. We're in 2050. Get with the times, buddy. <laughs> ah, sorry. Man, 2050. I will be, um, I'll be 66 years old in 2050. Back in my day, we, our, our hearts weren't mechanical. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. 
Back in back in my day, we had hearts that were pumping blood and could fail. We couldn't live forever. You back in my day, you kids in your your holographic computers and your cyber sex ladies. Cyber sex ladies. Yeah, cyber sex, cyber sex men were also removed in the Great War of 2020. Yeah, no. A lot of things happened in 2020. Oh, no cyber sex lady, uh, man, rather. No. Well, now there are plenty of cyber sex ladies. Yeah. What happened was all the men got rid of them because they wanted to actually be in the sexing. Yeah. Be in the yeah. sex. But then they realized how dissatisfying it was. Now they're just, you know what's sad? Cyber sex ladies, they just kind of hang out. They don't really have any purpose to life. So they're cyber friend ladies. Yeah, no, yeah. There, you get for, you get cyber friends. C cyber friends for life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. Uh, you know. I'm not. I'm not cyber into you like that. Oh, that's. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we were friends. I'm. You know. <laughs> you went on a vacation to Canada recently, and yeah. I thought you were gonna say, "Hey, common coder, why don't you join me?" Never happened. No. No. That's. You know. You, you didn't want me up there with you. <laughs> you would have been. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't even know. I, I would have been what? In Canada. <laughs> There's you no... would have been you wouldn't would have been able to drink in Canada. That's what you would have been able to do. <laughs> that that's true. I would have probably died from alcohol poisoning. I almost died from alcohol poisoning. Funny story, the first night of uh of the, Yeah, uh, death, funny story? Yeah, okay, let's hear story. it. The first story of the uh, first story. The first night I was in Canada in Quebec, I uh I got blackout drunk. And it was a uh -huh. Sunday. And we were up till three thirty in the morning. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, trip review, trip tick, trip trip advisory. Canada is pretty great. Guys. Okay, okay. So uh, all I heard was funny story. I got blackout drunk. The end. Yeah. Much. Hooray! Oh, we beat the level. Oh, you can tell by the dance. Uh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. You can definitely tell by the dance. <laughs> Thank you for the '90s dance, Croc. No, not even <laughs> '90s. What would that be? Uh, '80s. The '80s. What is it? The Michael Jackson type. I, I, I was gonna say the Bee Gees. Well, maybe Bee Gees. That's '70s. Like disco. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 70s? Yeah, 70s. Well, I, I figured if I just taken away, if I just kept taking away decades, yeah, I'd get it right eventually. It. Yeah. It's hard to remember the 70s when it's 2050. That that is true. Especially since, especially since the older generation had their memory wiped. Yeah, I, you know, 20 years from now, when we say the 70s, it's gonna get really hard. Yeah. Yeah, 20 years from now, the 70s. You're gonna be 86 in 20 years. Yeah, I'll be 86 years old. In 20 <laughs> Then my joke from the beginning of the video will be true. Yeah, there you go. We've come full circle. That's a callback, ladies call and gentlemen. Callback joke. Congratulations. We did it, guys. Back we did it up. It. Back it in. And let me. All right. We can stop the commentary now. We'll just let the rest of the video <laughs> Let's run. Let's let the video run. Enjoy. Croc with... In four dimensions. Four dimensions. Whoa, four dimensions. Yeah. That's, that's one more than I'm used to. Well, you have... Is there... There's a time. No, there's no time. There is no time. I guess it's only we don't have time for this. We don't have time for explaining the fourth dimension. <laughs> time for this. Look, someone just post a picture of a hypercube in the thread. Yeah, that's all. And then we'll, we'll pretend we understand. Yeah, we only need a hypercube. And, uh, hypercube, by the way, really needs to stop taking sugar in his coffee. <laughs> yeah, he needs to chill out, right? Yeah, he needs to just... He's going to have a heart... He's going to have a hyper heart attack. Yeah. Hyper diabetes. He's, yeah, he definitely has... He's definitely on, on, on the track for hyper diabetes. You can't keep getting hit by that piston. You know, hyperdiabetes, very strange. What happens is you'll lose a foot if you don't constantly eat cookies. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's weird how it works. Yeah. It's kind of like anti-diabetes. It's different than cyber-diabetes, but, cyber, you know, cyber-diabetes is, is, uh, is dangerous. Cyber-diabetes is when you tell people on the internet you have diabetes for attention. Yeah, yeah. You need to, and you constantly need to tell people or else, you know, you'll go into a coma or have a stroke or something. Weird. Of all the of all the diseases to try to get attention for diabetes, not, really, not really internet people. Because first of all, you're admitting that you don't take good care of yourself unless it's er, you know unless it's like early onset diabetes. Yeah. So you're just basically telling people you're a lazy, fat person who doesn't take care of themselves. This is a true story. A kid, a kid in my class, yeah. told me he needs to get one of those machines that automatically. Puts insulin shots for him because he's too lazy because, to do himself. Because yeah, because he doesn't have time to do it on his own, and he forgets. No wonder he has diabetes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you're just an <laughs> asshole. You don't care about your own body. That's pathetic. Uh, people, people need to 
diabetes. Now, I don't have diabetes, but I, I figured if I did, I would definitely take care of my shit. Yeah, you take care of your shit. Yeah. Or if, like, no, it's not even, it's one of those things where, like, your doctor's gonna warning you that, you know, I'm, you're gonna get diabetes soon if you keep acting up this way. You're like, yeah, okay, I'll chill out. I'll not eat, you know, sugar cookies all day long. Well, he really, he, uh, he changed it up on you there, huh? Yeah, it's a boss. Yeah. And that's it, we beat the boss. Oh, wow. Look at how happy Croc is. Look at how sad the boss is. By killing an innocent octopus. Yes, I what I, what I think is the gobbles are actually evil, and they're just u using Croc to do their deeds. Um, you know, that makes because they are really scrawny. Yeah, they're, they're the masterminds, and Croc is just a puppet. Yeah, he's a puppet. And he doesn't know. He willfully goes in thinking, oh, it's so weird. It's like lifelike gobble. Oh, yeah. That's um, Swap Meat Pete. Swap Meat Pete. That's a uh, great name. Oh, man. Now they're red gobbles. These are definitely bloodthirsty gobbles. <laughs> Well, they're Cossack gobbles. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be offensive. Yeah. 